What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Model Ones to show you guys two of their new gel kits. I'm sure you guys have heard me talking about Model Ones before. They are pretty much my go-to brand for gel nail polish. They're super beginner friendly and they're really easy to use and I think they're also a great price point. So yeah, this time we've got two full-size nail polish kits. So usually I will review their mini sets where they'll have like a ton of polishes that are in mini version in one set. This time we're talking about full size ones. Each of these kits has seven full size bottles in it. Just a quick note, if you are relatively new to nail polish, these polishes are gels, meaning that they do not dry by air. You actually need to cure them under an LED lamp in order for them to dry on your nails. I'm going to link the lamp that I use down in the description. It's also from Model 1, so you can check that out if you're interested. But yeah, these polishes, are gels. They do last for up to three weeks, so it is a little bit different than regular nail polish. But yeah, we've got a lot of exciting colors to go over, so let's just get started with the review and roll footage. So like I said, today we're going to be reviewing the full-size bottles. These are part of the Model 1's wood lid gel line. So I've reviewed them before, but just a little bit of information. These lids are a patented design from Model 1's. They're a little bit more environmentally friendly because of course there's less plastic being used in the pack packaging and the lids are made of recycled wood and of course they all meet the EU standard for the gel inside of the product. So yeah, let's just get started. So we'll start off with the temperature kit where we have seven colors that are all sort of various rainbowy shades inspired by temperatures. So this first one is called Below 10 Degrees Fahrenheit and it is a really nice soft periwinkle cream shade. Now this one I thought leaned a little bit more blue on me but on some people it might look a little bit more purpley just depending on your undertones. Honestly, I was really impressed with the formula of this. The thing that I love about Model 1s is they kind of apply like regular nail polish, but they stay on like gels. So here it is in two coats, looks absolutely gorgeous on. Next up we have 20 degrees Fahrenheit and this one is a medium sky blue cream. And this one was actually even more opaque than the 10 degree one. This one is so gorgeous and I absolutely loved applying it just because it felt like it was a one coater on me. Now with gel I generally do not do just one coat. If I'm wearing a gel manicure, I want it to feel relatively thick on my nails. So I'll always go in with a second coat, even if it is fully opaque in the first. But yeah, this one was just really impressive opacity. Again, just really smooth and easy to apply, very self-leveling, and it just looked gorgeous when it was fully cured. Next up, we have the shade 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And as we go up in temperature, we get warmer and warmer with the colors. I absolutely love the concept of this kit, by the way. They're not actually temperature changing but they're temperature inspired so they go from like the really cool tones into the really warm tones so that's super fun but yeah this one's just a really nice soft blue cream shade and I'm kind of taking my time with it. One thing that I always love about gel manicures is they don't dry by air so you can take as much time as you need to make sure that cuticle area is perfect to make sure that the brush strokes are absolutely perfect and you don't have to actually cure the manicure until you're fully satisfied with how the nail looks. I always really enjoy that aspect. It always makes it a lot easier and I never have to do any cleanup when I'm doing gel manicures. So here's this one in two coats. Absolutely gorgeous color. Moving right along to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and we actually have this really beautiful soft pastel green cream shade. Now this one was a little bit more sheer than the others. I saw in the first coat that it was going to be very light on the nails so I ended up doing three coats for full coverage. Now I don't mind doing that again with gel manicures. I am going in thin coats but I want to make sure that the end result is relatively thick so I don't mind doing three coats for that. And also just a quick note I Always recommend using a regular gel base coat with these but for the purpose of my swatches I am using a peel off base coat so if you're interested in all of the peeling action of me peeling off the polishes that I am swatching you can wait until the end for that because it'll be there but yeah anyway here is this polish in three coats again I was really just taking my time making sure that everything was nice and smooth I wanted to make sure there was no patchiness and that's another really great thing I love about gels because I can take my time with it it's especially 
especially easy to apply a nice pastel or light or difficult formula because it's just going to be really easy to smooth out and make it look nice. Next up we have 60 degrees Fahrenheit so we are moving into a super bright almost pastel-y kind of yellow cream shade. Now I'm sure if you have watched my channel for any length of time you're probably sick of hearing me say that yellow nail polishes are the most difficult formula for me so they always tend to be three coaters. However I do always like to say it just in case anybody is new to the channel and hasn't heard. I always do three coats at least for yellow nail polishes because they are just always super sheer on me. So this one was no exception. I did end up doing three coats for full opacity. I thought it was a really pretty color. I thought it was really easy to work with. It had a very similar formula as that pastel green shade. So it was just a little bit sheer, but it was able to be built up in full coverage in those three coats. So again, just taking my time as I always do, especially with these lighter colors. And then I cured it and here is the final look. Next up we have 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are moving into this super vibrant eye searing orange cream shade. And this one was another one that was just so opaque and workable. I absolutely loved it. I ended up having a little bit too much on the brush there. So I wiped some of it off so that I could continue that first coat. You do want to make sure that you're working in thin coats because you want everything to cure very evenly under the LED lamp. So I always like to do that. And again, don't worry, you can take as much time as you need to make sure that everything looks nice and perfect. So you don't have to worry about it getting lumpy on your nails while you're messing around with getting the right amount on the brush. So here it is in two coats, fully cured, just a stunning color. And last but not least in this first set, we have 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the hottest of the temperature polishes. And this one is a really beautiful, vibrant, classic red cream shade. Again, just incredible opacity, so easy to work with, so smooth and self-leveling. I had a really good time applying this one. Again, I got a little bit too much on the brush there, but I just kind of wiped that off and kept on going. This one was another one that just gave me perfect coverage in the first coat, but I ended up going in with that second coat just to make sure that everything was looking nice and gel-like on my nails, but just a perfect color, a perfect manicure. I love how smooth and easy it was to apply. I love how glossy the polishes are even before I add my top coat, although I always do recommend wearing top coat if you're going to be wearing a gel manicure, but yeah, totally love this one. So here is a full look at the first kit, the temperature kit, and as you can see, it's a really cool little rainbow that we have going on here. I like I said, love the concept of this with like the cold temperatures versus the warm temperatures. I think that's just a really fun concept to play around with. And I think the polishes ended up being just perfect formulas. So moving on to the Mirandi collection, this one is a bit of a departure from the temperature set because we've got a lot more neutral nude tones and some of those more classic mauve red pink shades. And this first one is called Self Portrait. It's a really gorgeous taupe beige kind of color. It's very cool toned undertone and it actually gave me really impressive opacity in the first coat. Again, I always like to do that second coat and you can see just how gorgeous this is when it was fully cured. I absolutely love this shade. Next up we have the shade Flowers and this one is your classic dusty rose cream shade. So it's sort of like a cool toned blush pink color and it has that really neutral vibe to it. I absolutely love this shade as well. Colors like the ones in the set, I feel like I could wear any time of year. They just feel like a nice office appropriate color. They're a good palette cleanser if you need something neutral in between bright manicures. And this color was just incredible formula as usual. No surprises here. So here it is in two coats looking absolutely gorgeous. Next up we have the shade Natura Morta and this one is a really beautiful sort of interesting mix between being like a blush tone and being a neutral light brown kind of color. So it's sort of this very rosy undertoned medium brown shade. And again, amazing opacity. All of these neutral shades just gave me such good coverage and the formulas were so impressive and easy to work with. Even though I was applying my nails in a relatively warm room, I didn't get any bubbles once I cured. It was just so easy and workable. Next up we have the shade 1890 and this is possibly the brightest color in this color. 
collection. Again, just a super opaque shade. And this one is another one of these rosy blush tones. This one's a very warm, almost salmon-y kind of undertone going on to it. And again, just very impressive coverage, really gorgeous shade. And even though this is a brighter color, it definitely still has that neutral feel to it. I think this is one of those classic shades that everybody likes to have on their nails and it kind of suits every skin tone. Although I would argue that every polish suits every skin tone, but I know some of us are a little picky with what matches our undertones best. But yeah, here's this one in two coats, another really beautiful shade. Next up, we have the shade Passage and this one's a really gorgeous one. It actually has a little bit of a purpley tone to it, but it's sort of a neutral taupe shade that has that really beautiful purple vibe to it. So almost fully opaque on the first coat. I did need that second coat to get full coverage, which I would have applied regardless. But yeah, I feel like a broken record here because I just can't say enough how great these formulas are. I think the Morandi collection was even easier to apply, which is saying a lot because all of their polishes are really easy to apply. But these neutral colors specifically, they just have the most incredible and easy to use formula. So here it is in two coats. Next up, we have the shade Italian, which is a really rich, deep, slightly dusty, maroonish type of cream shade. Another super gorgeous color. This one feels like another classic nail polish color shade, but for some reason, this is giving me all of like the elegant, classy fall winter vibes. So absolutely love this one. Gets me a little, I know it's a little early, but it's getting me a little bit excited for the fall season. My favorite time of year because I absolutely love these sort of deep, almost vampy type of shades. Here it is in two coats. And last but definitely not least, we have this really beautiful dusty brown cream shade. And of course the name I'm going to butcher, so I'm going to say it is probably pronounced Giorgio. <laughs> but I could be totally wrong, that's what Google tells me, but Google sometimes tells me the wrong pronunciation of things. So you guys can let me know what the correct pronunciation of that is in the comments. But this was another stunning shade. It gave me perfect coverage in two coats. It had a really interesting undertone to it. And again, it just feels like an any time of year shade, but it's also a very good fall winter type of color for me. So here are all of these shades together. I absolutely love this neutral, deep vibe going on. And I love all the different undertones that they have in this one set. It's really just a little something for everyone. And I think all of these shades are perfect to have in everyone's collection. So just a really good kit overall. So yeah, those are the two kits. And honestly, I really enjoyed them both. I never have enough good things to say about Model 1s. I think they're just a really good gel brand to use. They don't feel super thick or gummy on the nails. They give a nice, really even coverage and they also self-level really nicely, which I definitely enjoy. And like I always say, one of the really cool things about gels is you can take as much time as you want to apply it and make sure that it's absolutely perfect on your nail before you cure it because you aren't in danger of the polish drying by air. It doesn't even set until you cure it under the lamp. So definitely super fun to kind of experiment with and try on your own. And I always love a gel manicure, especially if I'm going somewhere on vacation. Generally, I change my polish a little bit more frequently, but if I'm going somewhere and I need my manicure to last, I always go gel. So yeah, each of these kits comes with seven 10 milliliter bottles and they retail for $49.50 USD each. I also have a discount code you can use on the Model 1's website. So if you use the code Kelly10, you'll get 10% off your whole order. So I will link that down below if you're interested. You can check all of that out, but I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these two kits? Which one do you you prefer? Are you planning on picking either of them up or have you already? Let me know in the comments. Once again, we can talk about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, Rainbow J, Kristen, and Jessica Taylor. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thanks. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Hillary, and Hillary wants to know if you could change your hair color as often as you change nail polish, would you or would that be too bothersome? Honestly, I feel like I absolutely would. One of the things I love changing my hair color, as you can see, I'm kind of in the middle of changing it as I film this video, but I actually, I love the act of changing my hair color. If it was a quicker process, I would probably do it a lot more often. Honestly, I do it pretty often as is. For this year, 2021, I realized I have not dyed it in such a long time. Like I haven't switched to a new color and I felt like oh, my year has been really lacking because of that. I've only switched it, I think, once or twice, which is kind of crazy. So that's why I'm, I'm about to do a, a, a nice crazy color change now. But yeah, I feel like I would definitely do it more often if I could. I think the hardest thing about having crazy hair colors is you kind of need to match, or you don't have to, but I personally prefer to, like match what is going on. Try not to wear a color that clashes with it, and that can be kind of difficult. So I always like to switch it up as often as possible so I can cycle through different colors in other aspects of my life. But yeah, if you guys want a sneak peek of what my next color is going to be, um, I have a vlog channel that I'm gonna link up in the cards and I'm gonna be posting a video of my process changing this into whatever the new color is going to be. So check that out if you're interested. It might already be up by the time this video goes up, but yeah. So check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So like I said in the voiceover to the actual swatches, I did actually use a peel off base coat underneath all of my swatches so that I could peel them all off just for ease of application and removal. Now, just keep in mind, your gel polish will not pop off like this unless you're using a peel off base coat. That's what I'm using. If you're prepping your nails properly and using a regular gel base coat, then they'll last a super long time. So yeah, enjoy all of the peeling action. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.